Will Impossible Chicken Nuggets actually taste like chicken? YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name is Jason. Here on this channel, I do a lot of food and product reviews. Like I said, today we're checking out Impossible Chicken Nuggets. Will these really taste like chicken? Or at least somewhat close? We'll find out. Okay, so these just are now getting released in grocery stores nationwide. The biggest being Walmart. So it's Walmart, Gleason's, Kroger, Elbertson's, ShopRite, and Safeways. So you can start to find these in your frozen section there. They also are starting to roll these out at restaurants. So I guess you can get possible nuggets now at Fat Burger. There's Dog House, uh, Gotts Roadside, Red Rooster, Harlem, Joyland, Crossroads, Fuku. You can go on to the impossiblefoods.com to see which restaurants have them. Like I said, the only one I've heard of those is Fat Burger. So you can pick up possible nuggets there, but we're looking at the ones that you can buy in the freezer section. Like I said, Walmart is the biggest one that you can get these at. So I'm gonna go throw these, and I'm cooking these, it says on the back you can either do them in the conventional oven, which is where I'm gonna cook them, air fryer or a microwave. So maybe we'll try them in the oven first and then maybe I'll throw a couple in the microwave because I know that's the most convenient. I know they're gonna be soggy and probably not very good, but we'll, we'll compare the two to see which one's better, oven or microwave. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have them in the oven right now to be about another nine, 10 minutes. I will skip ahead, but just while I'm cooking that, I just wanna read you some information on here. So there's 13 grams of protein per serving, which a serving is five pieces. 60% less saturated fat than leading chicken nuggets, zero cholesterol. And it says every time you eat an impossible chicken nugget, you're using less water, less greenhouse gas emissions, and less land. Okay. A little more diving, a little more in on their website. It says in a blind taste test in Irving, Texas, of 201 meat-eating consumers, many of whom regularly, regularly eat plant-based products, 74% prefer the Impossible Chicken Nuggets over regular ones. Okay, that's a good number, so we will see how good these actually are. All right, so I am back with my chicken nuggets. I'm the one with three over here. That's the microwaved ones, and these ones are in the oven. I mean, visually, no difference. As far as how they look overall, I mean, they look like a frozen nugget. Not something that you'd get at an actual fast food restaurant or anything, but we'll see how the taste is. I think we're gonna come over here too. And I will taste them without any sauce, but then I will try them with sauce too to see if, if there is a bad taste to them. Maybe it'll cover up. I have some bold barbecue sauce from Popeyes and the Polynesian sauce from Chick-fil-A. All right, so let's just try one of these ones out of the oven. So the difference in cooking time is 11 minutes at 375 in your oven or one minute in the microwave. So I've had Impossible Burgers before, like the Impossible Whopper. And when you taste the Impossible Whopper, it's not bad. But that first bite or two, you're like, hmm, something's not quite right here. But then as you eat it, you get used to that flavor. Like I still enjoy an Impossible Whopper, but there's that little off taste to it. I'm not tasting it here. If I didn't know these were Impossible Nuggets, I would think this is an actual chicken nugget. I'm gonna go as far. Now, clearly the, the, the breading on the outside is different, but these are really similar to McDonald's chicken nuggets. Like it kinda has that same taste to it. I like McDonald's chicken nuggets. I'm liking these. Now granted, like I said, the texture isn't quite the same of the, the breading on the outside. And these, even in the oven, not super crispy. So let's see how different microwave is compared to that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I didn't wanna eat it. I just swallow it. It changes, like as far as crispiness and stuff, pretty much the same. Maybe a little tougher over here, but it completely changes the taste of the meat. Like I highly recommend, do not microwave these. I may do another video trying them in the air fryer compared to the oven. Microwave is out, that absolutely ruins those nuggets. So if you've tried these and you bought them or whatever, and you're like, man, they're not good. Well, cause if, if you microwave them, that's why. Definitely do them in the oven. 
I don't really need sauce on these, but I mean, why not try it with sauce? Because like I said, it tastes like a chicken nugget. Like there's nothing to cover up in taste wise, but let's just see how it is in some Polynesian sauce. Show you the inside there. I mean, it looks like chicken. It smells like a chicken nugget. These are, oops, the breading's falling off. Oh my God, these are so good. Now I see why it says out of that, what was it? 200 and, out of 201 consumers in a blind taste test, 74% chose these. Cause like I said, they taste like chicken nuggets. There's no difference in taste here, at least that I'm not tasting. And to me, they taste a lot like McDonald's chicken nuggets. Not exact, but pretty darn close. So clearly, if you're vegan and you can't eat meat, check these out. These are absolutely amazing. And even if you are a meat eater and you like chicken nuggets, try these. I mean, I've gotten chicken nuggets in the past, like frozen, I'm not talking about fast food, I'm talking about frozen ones that you cook and they've never been really that good. These are actually really good. Like I would probably, and probably will, I'd have to check the nutrition facts, like comparing how is the nutrition compared to regular chicken nuggets that you buy in the store, you know? Obviously they're putting a lot of things in here to make them taste like meat. So it's not that these are healthy, but they're a great option for someone who's not a meat eater and wants to eat something that still tastes like meat. Cause I tell you what, like I said, I think the majority of those people in the blind taste test who had no idea these were not real nuggets or real chicken. I mean, mm. definitely if you're going to make these as far as between microwave and oven, definitely go with the oven. I mean, it's about 15 minutes total, 375 preheat the oven for what? Five minutes it takes four or five minutes. And then cooking time is 11 minutes. So it, that's not very long at all. And the taste is so much better. Like I didn't even want to swallow that. Like I thought it would just be, these would be crispy and that would be soggy and that would be the difference. But something about the microwave just changes the taste of the, the plant-based product inside of it to where it no longer tastes like chicken. Where this, I could eat this and be like, that's a chicken nugget that, I don't know. Just disgusting, really disgusting cooking with the microwave. So stick with the oven. The thing I would be interested in seeing is apparently these, I mean, I don't know if there's a difference between, and if you know, leave in the comments, a difference between these ones, impossible nuggets that you can buy in the grocery store compared to the ones that they serve, say at fat burger, you know, what is the difference? Like, I wish I could compare the two. I don't have a fat burger anywhere near me in the Midwest. I think they're all pretty much out in the Western U S so I can't compare them. If you have, let me know in the comments below. Are they exactly the same? You know, are they just like deep frying them? I don't know. How would they, how would they cook them at like fat burger? If you know, if you work at one of those restaurants that has impossible nuggets, are they cooking them in an oven? Are they deep frying them? Do they use a different type of oil? You know, what's the whole process there? Love to know that still, these are really good. Definitely. If you're at one of those restaurants, try out the chicken nuggets, the impossible chicken nuggets. If not go to the grocery store and pick these up. These are really good. Leave in the comments below. What do you think of them? And if you've enjoyed this video, smash that like button and I'll see you guys next time.